congratulations. You just got your cube freeze dryer. Now it's in your house, set up, and you want to use it. Now I will tell you, the one thing that you will likely have to do is to adjust the door so that it seals with the vacuum after shipping and everything. And you will probably have to adjust it just a little bit again after your first one or two batches. So today, we're going to show you how to make that adjustment. And it's simple. All you need is one Phillips screwdriver. The first thing you're going to want to do, though, is to make sure that your drain valve on the left hand side is closed. When it's when the valve handle is perpendicular to the hose like this, it is closed. When it's parallel to the hose like this, it is open. Make sure it's closed or you won't know whether your door is sealing correctly or not. You want to make sure that the door can slide back and forth in the slots easily, but that these are not loose. You likely will not have to adjust those. There are three adjustment points for adjusting the door with a Phillips head screwdriver. Here at the top left corner, the bottom left corner, and the right hand side. This is the magnet plate. These are the hinge brackets. I have found that the easiest way to get the door reset is to loosen all three screws about two or three turns. This backs the door away from the seal and helps you to get it set in the right place. I'm going to start in the top left corner and I'm going to be looking to make sure that there is contact in this corner between the plastic and the black seal behind when I start to see a thin black line form there I'm going to tighten this Phillips screw to create that contact. I can see that it just barely formed there in this corner. Next I'm going to do the lower left corner here by tightening the lower left hinge plate. until I see contact here with a thin black line forming. If you tighten the hinge brackets too far, your door will spring open on its own. If you get this far, you just need to loosen these two. Maybe it's just one, and you can watch by seeing where it makes contact with the rubber seal. You don't want it to spring open on its own. The magnet needs to hold it without it springing open. And then I am going to tighten the magnet plate until I get contact on this side, the right side, between the plastic and the rubber seal. And from the top view of the magnet plate side, I tighten this screw until this plate starts to pull away from the magnet just slightly, and then I may loosen this screw just a sixteenth of a turn or so. Now you can see there's a faint black line 
all the way around and there may be just a few spots where it isn't making quite enough contact and that's usually okay if you can get it contact around most of the corners and some of the sides and top then it will likely work now we're going to turn on the vacuum and watch how the thin black line becomes thick as the vacuum pulls the door tight. So you've got your door adjusted now and it's ready to go. Try your first batch. Run it and see how it goes. After your first and probably your second batch, you may need to do a slight adjustment again. Just check it and make sure before you run those batches and you'll be successful for many years to come.